friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Sandra and I make videos all about cybersecurity, having a career in technology as well as work vlogs. And today's video is gonna be a bit spicier. So this is something that you guys ask me all the time, which is how much you get paid in cybersecurity. So today I'm gonna be covering everything from entry level to late career to boot camps to PhDs and like masters. So definitely stick around and feel free to jump around in whatever area that you're in or you're more interested about in the timestamps below. And just a little bit of background, I am currently working as a entry level cybersecurity analyst. I've been in my job for about a year and a half. I've been with the same company ever since I graduated college, which was in 2019. So obviously this is based on my experience as well as the research that I've done for this video. So of course everyone's salary is gonna be a little different depending on where you live, and what company you're working for. Also, I'm really liking the setup um, that we have right here. So I think I'm gonna start filming officially in this area. And I'm also gonna link all the resources that I use in this website. So you can of course check it out for yourself. And I think you can also type in your own personal information to see what your salary should be. Okay, so starting out with the most basic average entry level cybersecurity analyst salary. This is gonna be about $63,260 per year. Now of course this is entry level and again, it's taking the average from everything from New York to Idaho. So obviously there's gonna be pretty big fluctuations like if you're in New York just because it's a higher cost of living area, you might get paid a bit more than this. And then if you're in a lower cost of living area or in a less populated state or city, then you're probably gonna get a bit less than this. I kind of want to say that it evens out based on cost of living, but really sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so if you're currently looking for an entry level job in cybersecurity or just graduating college, you should definitely be looking for salaries based on the state that you're moving to and the cost of living there. And conveniently enough, there's also different information on here like bonuses, commission, profit sharing, stuff like that. So you guys can definitely check that out too. Um, it will be on the screenshots on the screen, but I'm not gonna touch as much on that. But briefly in terms of bonuses, I know a lot of companies have different bonus structures, but, but just as a reminder, cybersecurity usually is a team in the company that doesn't necessarily make profit, but it actually prevents the company from losing profit, whether it's from getting hacked or um, losing information or data breaches. So because of this, sometimes bonuses can range really dramatically um, depending on what sector that you're in. Another thing to note is that on the lower scale of entry-level cybersecurity analyst salaries, you could be starting with $46,000 and then up to $85,000. And of course, this is just based on volunteer given data. Okay, so moving on to the average early career cybersecurity analyst salary. So usually entry-level is usually the first one to three years of your career. And then after that, you're kind of considered early career. And the average salary for cybersecurity is about $71,000 per year. Now, of course, this is actually a really, really good salary considering um, I think the average US salary is about in the $50,000 and that's average US household income. So as a single person making $70,000 a year, that is already really, really good in most places in the US. I know that might be considered lower for New York or somewhere in California, but there are definitely variations for those based on cost of living again. Now the low range for your early career is about $55,000 and the high range is actually up to $99,000. So you could be making close to six figures depending on where you live in your early cybersecurity career, which obviously is really good career growth. And just to give you a hint for the rest of this video, the trajectory for cybersecurity is pretty steady growth. You can expect a decent chunked pay raise that isn't just, you know, 3% cost of inflation every year. And I would say there is pretty steady growth. Um, I definitely think there is upwards trajectory, especially if you're getting certifications, which we will definitely cover later on in this video. And then annual bonuses can range anywhere from about $1,000 to $12,000. Okay, so you finish your early career, you're probably about five years of experience, maybe six or seven. And at this point, you may be considered someone who is in their mid-career when you have about five to 10 years of experience. So the average mid-career salary for a cybersecurity analyst is a bit more than $88,000. The lower range for this is $66,000 and the upper range goes up to $122,000. So obviously this is a pretty big jump just with five to 10 years of experience. Um, I would say even five to seven because there are a lot of different stages in your career. And honestly, if you're getting lots of promotions in your early career, you can definitely jump salaries. Another thing is that if you're switching companies often in your early career, which is usually more acceptable because you're in your early career, I definitely don't try to jump around too much like every single year. Maybe if you switch companies every two to three years in your early career and by the time you're at your third or fourth company, you'll definitely be making significantly more than when you started with because usually you get big salary bumps when you're jumping companies and not necessarily in your annual salary increase, which is just the way it is honestly, but, but I still wouldn't recommend jumping around companies every single year. And I also wouldn't recommend just jumping a company that you really love for a higher salary. So it's really from a case 
case by case basis and doing what's right for you but if you're really trying to bump up your salary and you want to stay at your company i would definitely talk to your manager about it and try to see what you can work out whether it's with bonuses or negotiating for a higher salary and at this stage your bonuses can range from one thousand dollars a year to about fifteen thousand dollars and in my opinion i feel like that fifteen thousand dollars is in a very very high range and you would also have to get good ratings obviously from like your annual end of year review because a lot of these bonuses are based on performance yeah definitely keep that in mind not everyone is getting fifteen thousand dollar bonuses um every single year okay friends we've now made it to the average experienced cybersecurity analyst salary so as for this range of salary i would say this is for about 10 years plus of experience in cybersecurity doing relevant work hands-on cybersecurity work not just like administrative stuff so keep that in mind this is going to be about $101,000 per year on average. The lower bracket for this is about $73,000 and the upper bracket can go up to $139,000. The bonus based on these averages is actually the same as the mid-career bonuses which is about $1,000 to about $15,000 per annual bonus. So this is the average basically after about 10 years of experience and it officially crosses into the six-figure mark for an average experienced cybersecurity analyst. Now, of course, these are gonna be different based on certifications. Um, if you get a master's during that time, that's obviously gonna impact your salary trajectory. And usually by this time, a lot of people actually have certifications or are getting certifications, or I actually know a lot of people who got their master's or MBA about 10 years into their career. So it's definitely something to think about. But I would also say this is around the age where I feel like people are starting families, settling down. So of course, there's a lot of things in life that happen around this time. So this could definitely look different for everybody. But I do think that the industry is getting better with paid leave and parental leave. So depending on what company you're working for, obviously there are going to be differences since there's no federally required um, parental leave. But that's definitely something to take into consideration for any family planning or life planning that you're doing at this stage in your career. Okay, so for the average late career for a cybersecurity analyst, the salary is about $113,000 per year, with the lower range being about $80,000 and the upper range being about $156,000. So as for late career, I feel like this really depends on what your aspirations are, what your career goals are, because at this stage in your career, you could be an individual contributor, you could be a manager, you could be a cybersecurity team lead. So there's a lot of different areas that you could go into. So definitely take that into consideration when you're seeing these numbers. And also late career can be defined by so many numbers of years. You could be 20 years into your career and be in your late career or 30 years into your career and be in your late career. I said career so many times in that sentence but there really isn't a specific exact number of years that you should be working to be considered in your late career so that's definitely something that i want to bring up in this video because some people might consider different years as your late career okay so the next thing that we're going to cover is the average salary based on your education and i'm also going to be covering boot camps but there's actually very limited data on that but i'll definitely go into it in more detail when i talk about boot camps but first we're going to start out with the bachelor's of cybersecurity degree so on average, you can expect to make a little under $72,000 with a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity. And again, this website is linked below. I'm using Payscale to do all of my research um, since I wanted to get a uniform website where I'm pulling everything from just in case you guys want to look into it. But they also have different jobs listed underneath for your bachelor's of cybersecurity, whether you're gonna be a cybersecurity analyst, a consultant, or an engineer. There's a lot of different roles that they have on the website and they'll show you the average salaries for all of those roles. So this is just the average of all of those roles combined with just your bachelor's degree. So I actually think this is a pretty high number just for a bachelor's and I definitely think it's comparable to a lot of other salaries in the US or the tech fields. Again, these are going to vary based on where you're from, what sector you're going into, and whether it's a big company or a small company. Always keep that in mind when I'm bringing up these numbers because they're definitely not exact to the T based on the offers that you might be getting from a job offer. All right, next we're going to move into having a master's of cybersecurity. The average salary for a master's is a bit more than $87,000. Again, this can vary a lot based on whether you're a cybersecurity engineer or an analyst going into pen testing, digital forensics, like there's so many different areas in cybersecurity, but just in general with a master's of cybersecurity, this is the average salary. And then the juicy one going into a PhD, which I honestly don't think that you really, really need for this field. But if you're an academic type and you really like academia and doing research, being in that school environment, you might want to go for your PhD and I couldn't find statistics specifically for a PhD in cybersecurity but I did find statistics for a PhD in information security so the average salary for a PhD in information security 
is about $112,000. Now, just a reminder that a PhD can take years and years of hard work to complete. Five years, it can take 10 years. Um, it really depends on what field that you're in. I know that PhD programs are very rigorous and it's a lot of research that goes into it. So you don't just wake up one day and want to get a PhD. Like it's something that you plan for and it's something that you really want, especially compared to a bachelor's and a master's degree, which are definitely more common. But I would say that it is a fair salary or a fair average salary if you're taking about seven years to complete a PhD program compared to about 10 or so years working in a field and getting that real hands-on cybersecurity experience. The salaries are pretty comparable since they do hit the six figure range, but you know, either path that you choose, I don't think there's a right or wrong to any of them. It's really up to you for what you want to do. The PhD might pay off in the long run if that's something you really want. Okay, and I also found this really nifty career paths chart that was on their website that I just wanted to show on here because I just think it's really cool how many different sectors of cybersecurity that you can branch into if you're starting out from a cybersecurity analyst. But of course you can start out anywhere. This is just kind of like giving you ideas of the different routes that you can go into. Okay, so now that we have our degrees covered, I'm gonna go into boot camps and certifications. So the two certifications that I'm gonna be talking about today are the main ones in cybersecurity that are what people want. And I wish I would have put Security Plus on here, but I really do feel like Security Plus is a very entry level certification. So because of that, I would say that the entry level average salary is probably about it for a Security Plus because that is really the entry level certification that you get to get an entry level cybersecurity role. So I'd really look to those numbers and those averages to get an idea of what salary you can get with your Security Plus certification. I feel like I'm talking so much. <laughs> okay, but starting off with the CISSP, this is the Certified Information Systems Security Professional. And from what I've read and from what I've seen in the industry after working here for about two years, this is probably one of the most popular certifications that you can get in cybersecurity or information security. Usually people take this in their mid-career, maybe about seven or so, five, 10 years in. But of course, I also know people who started studying for that a lot earlier in their career as well. But there are requirements to get the certification based on experience. Definitely keep that in mind before going into it full on. But the average salary for someone with a CISSP certification is a little under $116,000. Now, of course, this is a lot. And if you're comparing this to the previous PhD that I was talking about, it sounds like a lot of money for a certification compared to a PhD program. But don't forget that with your CISSP, you're also adding on like five to seven years of hands-on experience in the field. But it's definitely a really good certification to get if you're in information security. And certifications are actually getting really mainstream in the field. So because of that, a lot of roles actually require or have preferred qualifications for CISSP certifications or any comparable certifications in cybersecurity. So definitely keep that in mind if you're kind of looking for one of those higher paying roles. This can definitely get you a salary bump and make you a lot more competitive when you're looking for a job. Okay, and another popular certification that I want to talk about is the certified ethical hacker certification now this one did surprise me a little bit but it kind of made sense because the certified ethical hacker certification is actually a bit more early career than you would think so it doesn't require that many years of experience i believe it's only two or so but editing me will correct me if i'm wrong and put it on the screen but i think there's also ways to kind of get over that experience bump just with a bachelor's degree i would definitely fact check myself um, when i'm editing but the average salary for a certified ethical hacker is about eighty two thousand dollars but one thing that i want to note especially about this certification is how big the gap is ranging from forty six thousand dollars to one hundred and thirty thousand dollars that is like almost a hundred k difference between the average salaries. So definitely keep that in mind when you're doing research on this, because even if you're a certified ethical hacker in your early career with like four or five years of experience, compared to someone who is an ethical hacker with 10, 15 years of experience, like that's obviously a very, very big gap, but you're still an ethical hacker. That might be why there's such a big difference between the salaries. So definitely keep that in mind when you're looking for a job and kind of do a bit more research about about the average salaries in your area based on experience level. Okay, so for the juicy one, um, this is definitely something that was actually a bit harder to do research on and that is salaries for boot camp graduates. So I actually couldn't find specific numbers on this based on the website that I was looking at, but I did find that there are boot camps out there that require you upon graduating from that program to actually get a real certification. So you're passing the boot camp and you're getting a certification like the Security Plus or even the OSCP, which is the Offensive Security Certified Professional. And that is one of the highest ranked certifications for ethical hackers. And if you can get that after a boot camp, 
that boot camp must have been amazing because <laughs> I heard it's very very difficult to pass because you have to basically break into five different devices within a 24 hour range and of course not everyone can do that that basically means you're probably not going to be sleeping much but definitely something to keep in mind not all boot camps are made equal and I noticed that a lot of the research that I did for boot camp entry-level salaries um, they're kind of just spitting out the numbers for the average salary for cybersecurity professionals and not necessarily just for boot camp graduates so because of this i feel like the data is really skewed towards high numbers that that really pull you in but they may not be super super realistic for helping you find a job so the screenshots that i share definitely do have the numbers there for you but definitely do your own research and my biggest recommendation is to find a boot camp online or a mooc for free first before dropping a bunch of money thousands of dollars on a boot camp program and then potentially not having it help you as much for finding an actual job or find a bootcamp that will help you pass a real certification that employers are actually looking for. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or any comments even um, based on your experience negotiating or um, working in cybersecurity or maybe you just are graduating college and kind of have no idea how to go about everything. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all of you for supporting the channel. If this was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesday at 2 p.m. and Sundays at 12 p.m. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.